Welcome to an episode of r slash Entitled Parents, where we share stories of moms or dads thinking that because they have kids, they are entitled to everything. Kick back and enjoy what we're about to share with you. And at the end, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, on to the stories. And this story is posted by you slash spaghetto guy. EM wants a refund on something we don't even sell. Let's run through the cast before we begin. EM, well, it speaks for itself. M, that would be me. B, boss. So I work at quite a big grocery store and we get a lot of entitled customers. So I'm used to dealing with entitled people, but this one was different. So I'm basically sitting out the rest of my shift behind one of our cash registers, ringing people up and helping when needed with other stuff around the store. I had just helped a customer with something when I saw an old lady struggling to get something, so I offered to help. She was quite happy and I asked if she needed help with anything else, to which she replied yes. She asked if I could help with the rest of her groceries. Since it was a quiet afternoon and we had plenty of staff around, I agreed. We went down her grocery store list and one by one, we ticked them off. We were almost done. I was just crouching down to get something when I heard the dreaded voice. EM, I've been waving at you for quite a while now. Can you help me already? M, with the best fake helpful voice. I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see you. What is it you need help with? I'm kind of helping this old lady with her groceries. EM, well, first of all, you should look around when helping others. Maybe someone else needs help. Second, I would like a refund on this item. She shows an item of which I didn't know we sold, but I said I would be there shortly. She accepted with the usual sighing and eye rolling. After a short five minutes, I'm done helping the old lady getting her groceries and ring her up. EM, are you done already? I've been waiting here for almost 15 minutes. M, ma'am, I'll be there as soon as I finish ringing up this lady. I ignored the 15 minutes comment because it's no use going against them. My shift was nearly over and I really didn't want to create a fuss. Once I had finished everything with the old lady, I went over to the EM. EM, finally, took you long enough. Me, I'm sorry, ma'am, but surely you saw that the old lady was struggling. I had to help her first. EM, yeah, well, I have kids in the car waiting for me. This actually took me back a bit because it was scorching hot and I know our parking lot is almost always fully in the sun. So the kids were sitting in a boiling car. However, I chose not to comment on this because it's simply not my place to be honest. Me, all right, what would you like to refund? EM, this, I bought this item here, but I don't need it anymore. Me, um, ma'am, are you sure you bought this here? Do you have a receipt? EM, yes, of course I'm sure. Are you doubting me? The customer is always right. Me, ma'am, do you have a receipt? EM, I'm sorry, what? Clearly avoiding the question. Me, getting tired with this BS. I asked if you had a receipt. EM, uh, well, I lost it. Me, ma'am, we don't sell these. There's no way you could have bought this here. I'm sorry, but I can't refund you. EM, what? I'm sure I bought it here yesterday. I want my money back. Me, ma'am, like I said, I can't refund this item. We do not sell these. EM, Let me speak to your manager. Me, of course, ma'am. Calls boss through earbud. B, what seems to be the problem here? EM, this jerk won't refund my item. I would like for you to fire him right now. B, ma'am, what item were you trying to refund? EM, this one right here. He says you don't sell it, so he's clearly lying. B, ma'am, we don't sell these. I kindly ask you to stop bothering my employee. EM, but I'm sure I bought it here. By now she starts freaking out, so we ask her to leave the store. She refuses and tries to intimidate my boss. My boss isn't scared by it and just walks away. I return to ringing up other customers as she keeps waiting at the beginning of the store. By now I'm focused on my job again and I've stopped paying attention to the crazy lady. I finish ringing up a customer when suddenly a hand goes into my register and grabs a handful of cash and of course, It's EM. She tries running away, but another employee tries to stop her. This employee is a friend of mine, but she is quite small and EM notices this too. So she tries to look big and to intimidate my friend. This is where I step in. 
I guess EM didn't realize I was sitting down behind the cash register because once she sees me coming towards her standing up, her eyes goes big and her face becomes red. She's probably around 175 centimeters, 5'10ish, which isn't small for a woman, but I'm 197 centimeters tall, 6'5. Once she sees me getting closer, she decides to run for it. I don't go after her, instead asking my friend if she's okay. Her car and her place were filmed by our cameras and she was arrested not long after. I haven't heard too much from it, but I know she got like 200 hours of community service. Moral of the story, please don't be an idiot like her. And this story is posted by you slash decapitated roach. My mother paid for me and my wife's wedding photos as a gift and then tried to use it as leverage to see them before us. So my wife and I are young and didn't have much money, so we asked our respective parents to help as much as they could. Her parents, who are amazing people, help way more than we could have ever asked and never asked for anything in return. They actually were surprised that my wife was able to pull off as much as she did with the small amount we had. My dad had recently been through a terrible divorce, a long story for another day, and had moved to a new place. I didn't feel comfortable asking him for money, so the majority of the load was left to my mother and stepfather. One thing about my mother is nothing is ever simply a gift for her. Everything comes with a twist. You just never know when she will use it against you. When we mentioned that we needed help, of course, she was more than happy to help. Her gift to us was to pick whatever photographer we wanted, no matter the price. We happily accept and thank them both. Fast forward several months later. The wedding is finished and we are barely a month into our marriage. A little more background about the story. My grandfather, my mom's dad, was in the late stages of dementia. He no longer recognized anyone, believed his dreams were real, and never really answered with anything much more than the occasional, yeah, to anything he was asked. It was a rough time watching him turn into this. Of course, my mother refused to believe he didn't know who she was or who I was and regularly told us that we were wrong when we would try to convince her he was absent mentally. So, the wedding is done and we are waiting for the pictures, all $6.99 of them, occasionally in contact with the photographer to check in and see how things are progressing. It was always friendly conversation. One day, my wife receives a concerning email from the photographer asking us to please have my mom stop harassing her for pictures. Confused by this new information, we ask her what she is talking about. According to the photographer, my mother had been emailing and texting her multiple times throughout the week asking for any pictures that she had finished without telling either me or my wife. She was trying to see pictures from our wedding before us. Of course, I immediately call her. I will admit I was angry and I went about it in a way I should not have, but I also feel justified. So I call her and confront her about not only how she was treating the photographer, but also sneaking behind our back to get pictures before we do. Instead of owning up to her mistakes, she tried the power move thinking I would back down because she is my mother after all. She stated to me with complete sincerity in her voice that since she paid for the pictures, she should be able to see them when she wanted. Of course, I lost it. Not so politely reminding her that it was a gift to us from her and my stepdad and that if she intended to act this way, she should have just found her own photographer. My wife researched for days to find the perfect person. When she realized the power move wasn't going to work, she turned to guilt bringing in my grandfather. This, of course, angered me even more. She said that she wanted the photos so she could take them to show them to my grandfather and that it was wrong of me to deny him seeing these pictures before he passed. At this point, I had made my mind up and out of the pure disbelief, I had nothing to say. So I quietly informed her that she would receive the pictures when me and my wife felt comfortable showing her and that she need to stop harassing the photographer or none of us will get pictures. To this day, she has not received the pictures. The most surprising part is that she hasn't even asked for them. Not too long ago, I asked my stepdad why. He was clueless that all of this was happening, and he said she was still trying to make me feel guilty about how I talked to her. That is my mother, ladies and gentlemen, always the master manipulator. And this story is posted by you slash big underscore brain 246. EM thinks she can get whatever she wants for free because it's her angel's birthday. Cast EM, duh, E is employee. M, manager, K, kid. K wasn't there with EM, but he was mentioned. So, a bit of backstory. This is pre-COVID and it was the day before my birthday. 
I was at Edible Arrangements. If you don't know what that is, I'll put a link to a picture in the comments. And I was with my dad waiting in line to get our order. EM is in front of us and she starts yelling at E. EM, what do you mean I can't get this for free? It's Kay's birthday. E, I'm sorry, ma'am, but I can't just give you your order for free just because it's Kay's birthday. EM, let me speak to your manager. E, okay, hold on a sec. E goes through the employee's only door and comes back a minute later with M. M, what seems to be the problem, ma'am? EM, E isn't giving me my order for free. M, and why do you think that we'll just give you your order for free? EM, it's Kay's birthday tomorrow. M, so? EM, I need it. M, I'm sorry, ma'am, but we don't go around giving customers free orders because it's their child's birthday. EM, hmm. Well, I know the man who owns this store, so you can kiss your jobs goodbye. And then she stumps out of the store in a huff. I'm trying not to laugh because I actually know the guy who owns the store. He's my best friend's dad. After she left, me and my dad got our order and paid for it like a decent person. Those were three great stories. To hear the best stories of the week, click on the video in the top left hand corner. To hear more Reddit stories all related to what you just heard, click on the video in the top right hand corner. If you have not already done so, click on the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. Once again, this is TNA Top Notch Audio. Thank you for listening and have yourself a great day.